What are you working on? It's a computer terminal that hooks up to the TV for the display. Uh, Steve? Wow. The inspirational film Jobs takes on one man's fearless determination to create the impossible. Welcome to Apple Computer. Is this everything? Startup. Director Joshua Michael Stern tells the story of Apple Computers and its creator Steve Jobs' struggle to make his vision a reality. Steve's been doing the impossible ever since he was in a garage. For me, it was about him being young and trying to create a company and then having a vision. And then what's the business of vision? How can you be a total visionary and have a board of directors? I'm trying to build an apple and they're taking it away from me? Usual comedic actor Ashton Kutcher plays the dynamic role of Steve Jobs, a choice not many saw coming. It's a blatant ripoff. I'm going to sue you for every cent. There's something provocative about putting Ashton in this role because even though there, there might be skepticism of it, there's something interesting about it. And I think something out of the box. We got to make the small things unforgettable. Typeface isn't a pressing issue. Get out. The film allows a peek inside the mind of the iconic innovator for a chance to understand him. What do you think that the audience will take away as something that they didn't really know either about Steve Jobs or Apple? That he was a very flawed man and that he was somebody who felt misunderstood. But he didn't let those flaws and that misunderstanding define him. In life, you only get to do so many things. Message-wise, yeah. what do you think? Everything around you that's amazing was created by people who are no smarter than you. And that's one, one thing Steve said. Here's to the crazy ones, the misfits, the rebels. Jobs is a one-of-a-kind story that hits theaters Friday, August 16th. Because the people who are crazy enough to think they can change the world are the ones who do. Reporting for KR News in San Francisco, I'm Heather Young.